we are at Meinel. You are presenting Ivanis guitars. Tell me something about the um, feeling that you have to this company and what feeling you have to represent this company. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been 30 years that I've had a relationship with Hoshino and Ibanez. And it's, uh, in the beginning, you don't know the value of that until you're in it, you know. So I just feel so fortunate to have been able to work with such a great company for this many years. I mean, 30 years and we've designed, um, you know, I designed the Gem guitar in the beginning, and which, you know, was the RG and the seven string and the universe. And, and uh, all through the years, they've just been, it's been a wonderful, creative, sharing, kind of a very successful uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. And 30 years later, you, you can't really understand the, the great charm and value in that 30 years ago when you're starting. So I feel really blessed. They're a great company and we've made great stuff. Yeah. Steve, you changed Ibanez, but did Ibanez change you as an artist as well? Well, they, they built an instrument that was uh, instrumental in my development as a guitar player because, uh, you know, the the gem is such a uh, classic instrument for me in the way that I've developed my style. I mean, you know, all, all the other guitars, I love Strats and Les Pauls and all these guitars. They're great, obviously. But uh, there was always something in my style that was reaching for something different. So when, you know, the relationship with Ibanez, they made an instrument that allowed me to find that... Uh, that quirky, unique voice that I have. So yeah, it's, they've been very uh, powerful mm -hmm. in the evolution of my career and you know, all the promotion they do. It's just been fantastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like one of those relationships that, uh, you know, when you come together in a relationship and you just create and it's good, everybody benefits. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are different kind of models, different kind of finishes, different um, specifications. Is there one guitar in the whole thing that you're most proud of or that you most love? Well, the one I'm most grateful for is the gem, because that's the one that I play. And within the evolution of the gem, it's the bones of it has stayed the same. Mm -hmm. You know, the... Uh, Uh, the shape, the for me, the pickup configuration, mm -hmm. the uh, construction of the uh, tremolo, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's pretty much been the same. But we've just had a lot of fun creating different aesthetics. You know, the way the guitar looks, mm -hmm. changing that many, many times through the years. But uh, probably about 25 years ago, they came out with the white one, and that's the one I just embraced, probably because it went best with my clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could wear anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, having said that, does that mean um, there will still be an evolution of that guitar in the future? Well, I would, I would hope so. Mm -hmm. um, every year we kind of put our heads together to come up with something different. And this year, an extraordinary uh, development, really, in the... Uh, the new uh, version that's coming out that was just introduced today at the Mental Festival, and it's called the Woody. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I have this guitar camp, Vi Guitar Academy camp. Mm -hmm. It's like something I do every year. We get about 150 guitar players. It's really great, you know, it's, uh, there's a different theme. And last year's theme was uh, The, the, the guitar itself, the construction of the guitar, because so many people that play the guitar don't really understand a lot of what goes into it and how the different elements that are in a guitar can actually change the way it sounds, can change the way you uh, might choose various elements in it. So this camp was all about the guitar itself. So one of the things that we did was I went to... Um, Hoshino, and I had their custom department build a guitar based on my specifications, a gem, and we videotaped it, 
And uh, it, it was beautiful because I've always loved wood grain, you know, especially when it's um, finished a certain way that it, it really looks rich and warm. And uh, we uh, designed, I designed this guitar and they built it and it's called the Woody. Right. Yeah, and it's mahogany with a rosewood top that just really looks rich and beautiful. And uh, which is unlike the other gems, you know, most of the other gems and RG type guitars are very uh, relatively aggressive looking, you know, good for uh, in the mind metal mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one is more, much more warmer looking. And then uh, I work very closely with DiMarzio in creating pickups. And we created these, these pickups uh, called Dark Matter 2. And uh, because mahogany can have a little sharp edges of a sound now and then. So uh, these pickups were designed for mahogany style bodies to uh, kind of level out the top end. And uh, um, they have the coolest pickup covers. They're these etched, well, not even etched, they're, they're carved uh, gears, sort of. And it gives the guitar just this, this beautiful, warm look. Sort of like, it's almost country looking in a weird way. You know, it looks like something Johnny Cash would play if he dropped acid <laughs> or something, you know? All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.